Hi, John Lay here with another hot take review on an LMS system. Today's hot take is on Gyrus uh, Solutions, uh, the Gyrus AIM LMS. Uh, this is one of the solutions I met about seven or eight years ago uh, at Talented Learning, and I've been following them uh, ever since. Gyrus uh, is one of the oldest learning management systems out there. They've got a 30-year history owned by the uh, same folks. They had about 500 clients. They operate in 20-plus countries. They have 30 employees between uh, India and the United States. And they're one of those systems that was born in the days of LMS being geared towards administrators, and they've really kept true to that, uh, even though they've uh, provided more and more uh, learning functionality to their system over the years. And so many uh, new learning management systems really start from the experience of the learner. Uh, Gyra starts from the experience of having to manage uh, complex, uh, uh, complex training uh, situations and, and scenarios. They have a uh, uh, really strong footprint and growing footprint uh, inside of government and manufacturing. Uh, they have uh, great DOD uh, tape type capabilities. Uh, in fact, they have things like uh, 21 CFR Part 11 uh, compliance. They have uh, ATOs uh, to operate in a FedRAMP environment uh, across a couple of different agencies, and they're working towards their own FedRAM certification. They're inside the uh, Microsoft Azure uh, network, so which is FedRAM certified. So they're one of the few LMSs out there that can uh, service uh, DOD and state and federal governments uh, really across the world, uh, certainly in the United States. And to come in the United States to operate in that federal, you have to not only have that CFR capability, but you have to be able to manage uh, the SF-182 process. You have to manage the EHRI to, uh, to uh, the OPM uh, database or data, uh, data transfer, or training completion data transfer for the centralization of those uh, federal records uh, across all agencies. So those are things you just can't find in any uh, LMS. Uh, they're, they're applicable uh, to a lot of different agencies out there. They have, uh, from an administrative standpoint, uh, really, really a solid concept of these uh, cards. Uh, it's kind of like uh, to bring all the data up in a card. So a manager managing employees, an employee looking at their skills or gaps, or an employee or a manager looking at a, a particular piece of, of content before you actually engage in that content. They've really done an ingenious way of incorporating a lot of information with rollovers and pop-ups and star ratings and ability to edit and change this or that uh, and, and give you insight into uh, that particular, whatever that particular item is, uh, is, is really nice. They have uh, things like approval workflows. You know, that's something you used to see in LMSs 20 years ago, but, uh, you know, a lot of the new ones just don't have that. So am I authorized to take this course? And do I need a manager approval? Or if I'm going to buy this, what's the workflow? And so they're one of the systems that can set up those steps of workflow and manage all the notification and things in between. They manage the normal types of learning, you know, ILT, uh, VILT, uh, or webinars as they call it, e-learning instances, put them all together in a training plan. From a webinar standpoint, they support, uh, uh, they support Teams and Zoom and uh, Slack, uh, which are uh, different ones than the, the normal uh, GoToWebinar, Adobe Connect, uh, which they also support. They've got this concept of uh, tying skills, you know, so they got the, the skill IDP, uh, per, uh, uh, perform, performance appraisal uh, type functionality so you can define what you need on skills and jobs and uh, you know for a job for a role or for a location or any combination of those and so you can do alternate job analysis you know what if I had this job what's my skill gap and all that skill gap so some heavy duty uh, strong uh, uh, lifting they have a really nice uh, concept uh, application of AI in their AI maintenance engine and what that does is that it, I've never seen this application. This is definitely a differentiator, but what it does is it, it analyzes your particular deployment and how you have your data structured and it looks for inconsistencies in that data. And like, for example, maybe it realizes that 10 uh, employees don't have manager connections or unassigned to managers or unassigned to organizations or you know have expiring certifications or 
different things. You know, I thought it was a manual setup, but it's different for each customer because each customer has a different deployment. I'm sure there's some consistencies, uh, but that was a, a pretty neat uh, feature from a reporting and analytics. It's what you'd expect. It's mainly for the training progress data. It's pretty nice. Uh, they have it split up and categorized in all the different types of reports and you got pretty good configurability. And then when you get to the report data, uh, just from the same screen, you know, you can look at it in all the different formats. There's like seven or eight different formats according to PDF and CSV, Excel, and, you know, PDF and that type of stuff or a PowerPoint, um, uh, for example. So, uh, you know, that's really helpful. And you can schedule those reports and get them out. Then they have the gamification, the points and the awards and the contest and the leaderboards, uh, kind of the blocking and tackling uh, that you would expect. And... Uh, they also have nice integrations with Open Sesame and Go One. I like those integrations because you can set up your relationships with those organizations, buy your content. It's automatically transferred into the driver's saying LMS, put into your catalog. Admins can go in there and set any assignment rules that they want to to do that and the content's always up to date. So all that's pretty cool stuff. Uh, Gyrus AIM is, is really meant for uh, those organizations that got a heavy administrative lift. If that's you, I encourage you to go check them out because they can save you time and money. Uh, just through the automation and the, the reduction of administrative tasks uh, throughout your training organization. There you have it. There's another hot take. Today's hot take was on Jiro Uh You can find more of our independent uh, resources at talentedlearning.com, and we hope to see you on the next. Have a great day.